choice that I'm going to show you today is something that might surprise the majority of you. Um, like I said before, do not choose something that imitates a minnow because the smallmouth are not looking for the minnows, they're looking for the slower um, fish or, or aquatic species such as nymphs and uh, crayfish. Well, one thing right here I've got is a deep diving crankbait. Um, now this can be a deep or shallow water crankbait depending on where you crank it and how you use it. Um, again, this is not the color I would suggest. I don't have any darker colors. I would suggest something that imitates a crayfish or some kind of aquatic bug or uh, crustacean in the water. And uh, crankbaits can actually be a very effective bait when river fishing. Um, what I would suggest doing is casting this out into some deep water, 15 to 10 feet deep, and just letting it sit there. Really just, just kind of holding your rod there, reel it in very slowly. And what the current does is it allows this to move and act as a um, some kind of you know, uh, even possibly even some kind of shad. Um, and I'm not saying that all bass don't look for the shad or the minnows um, when the winter season comes in rivers. Um, I'm just saying it's it's not a main source of food. And when they see something big like this that imitates maybe one of their favorite snacks, which could be a shad or some kind of minnow, out in the open water moving very slowly, they'll, they'll take advantage of that and just kill that bait. Um, Again, you could use this color or a crayfish color, or something that imitates aquatic species uh, in rivers. Um, usually, in the rivers that I fish, there's abundant of other species, such as catfish, walleye, muskie, pike, largemouth, smallmouth, crappie, bluegill, all sorts of species. And this doesn't exactly exclude you from catching just smallmouth and largemouth bass. You'll even start to catch pike or muskie. Uh, including walleye as well uh, when using crankbaits um, that reach near bottom areas in uh, rivers or current flowing streams. Um, and this is a really good good bait to find multiple species including largemouth and smallmouth. Um, like I said, I would choose something a different color. This is just the only color I could find so far. Uh, the second crankbait I want to show you is a very much deep diving crankbait. Um, this is mostly used for walleye but can also be used for smallmouth as well. Like I said, use it the same exact way. This is probably going to go a little bit deeper, so if you're looking for smallmouth and, and slower currents, I would suggest reeling this in because the current is going to be um, as, uh, as able to move this lure as, versus something that goes a little bit more shallower. Um, very great bait. Uh, this thing will definitely hug the bottom, which you're looking for. You don't want something to look for mid to top water. Um, you want to be all the way down there, and that's why I showed you the tube earlier. This thing will get you down there very easily.